Today I'm going to show you some simple but effective techniques that will take both your photography and video skills up a notch. So let's get started. Okay, whether we like it or not, the way we frame our photos and our videos are really, really important, okay? And there are two skills that you need to know. So before you even think about your camera, you need to get these two things down. One is your aspect ratio. Determine whether you're going to do this in a landscape or portrait and what size you're going to do will dictate how much is in the frame. This is essential when you're thinking about where you're going to be posting it. Doing this right now can save a whole bunch of ball like later on when it comes to editing. So do it in camera rather than out. Second one is your composition. Picking what you want in your photo and out of your photo, your angles is important. And therefore making sure that you have a good idea of the composition that you want to take will affect the feel and the flow of your shots. This is incredibly important in video when we think of moving in transitions. So make sure you look at that. You want to make sure that you avoid having too much empty space in a frame and you also want to make sure that you have enough for movement. Don't chop people's heads off. It's not worth it. Off with head! The second thing is you're going to want to look for good lighting, okay? Lighting when it comes to videos is slightly more complicated because you need to adjust the settings in a slightly different manner than when you do it in photography. However, naming your exposure is important because good lighting will change things. Natural lighting is always the best place to start because you're not affecting it in different ways. You learn to master what you've got. So learning how to read light is a skill. And if you don't know how to do that, make sure you go check out my video on that because it will literally teach you how to do it. Once you master natural lighting, then you can start playing with and manipulating it with other lights, okay? And then obviously you can get into full studio lighting because you understand the basic concepts. Understand the basics first. Don't go anywhere else before that. And remember that when you're changing your settings for video, don't change your shutter speed because it will change your frames per rate. Make sure that you use things like your ISO and your ND filters to help those situations out. Obviously, aperture and the lens that you choose to pick is going to affect your depth of field and your focus, okay? And obviously how much you have in shot. So these are the things you need to consider, right? The lens that you choose to pick is important and you need to understand that if you're using mobile, mobile has a, it has a focal length just like anything else. It's just predetermined and it is a prime lens, okay? There is a difference between digital and opt optical zoom, so make sure that you don't lose the quality of your shot in that. So if you want those dreamy backgrounds, make sure that you have a shallow depth of field, which is by using a a wider aperture um, which will enable you to have that dreamy background this is in essence what they predetermine and preset for you in portrait mode when it comes to focus make sure that you focus at the beginning and you can predetermine and lock your focus especially if you're doing something like video and make sure that you're using some kind of stabilization tripods gimbals they're all the wonderful different ways that you can do this but choose the one that suits for what you're doing because it can ruin a shot if you don't focus correctly. Nothing worse than having autofocus going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. It's very distracting and very annoying, okay? So think about how you're doing it. When it comes to movement, you need to make sure that your movement in camera is actually smooth. So you might want to consider things like pans and tilts and different ways of doing that. A gimbal is definitely the way to go for things like that. Finally, check your white balance. I am going to have a mini rant, so bear with me. The biggest thing I see that when people wreck their lighting is they set their white balance incorrectly, okay? Auto white balance is your friend. However, you do need to learn how to edit this both in camera um, for photography and video, okay? There is nothing worse than yellow light, okay? You only need to see this to know that. And if in doubt, there are ways that you can adjust these things, but set it to auto because you're going to need to do an edit on some of this at some point. Finally, if for those who are doing video, you're going to have to take it to the next level. And having done all of those things, I do mean all of them, okay? Your level of your photography and your video skills is based on how many of these things you achieve. If you do one of them, you've got a one star photo or a one star shot, okay? You do two of them, you've got a two star shot, okay? You want a top pro professional level shot on this, you're going to have to master all of it. And if you're going to do it even better in video, then you're going to have to make sure you know that audio as well. Audio really does kind of take it to the next level and make sure it doesn't get overlooked. So 
before you shoot anything you need to master every single one of these and don't think that just because photography isn't necessarily what it used to be online that you don't need to learn those skills because every single one of these is used in both video and photography and let's face it you still need stills for your thumbnails so make sure you look at these things and if you have any questions about any of these or would like me to go into more depth about each of these things make sure you drop them in the comments below if you want to know exactly how i make videos using very very simple technology in a very very simple way and you want to check out which editor i use then go watch this video because i'll show you exactly how i do it